What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Pokemon News Daily, a brand new Pokemon show where I go over Pokemon news spamming across all the Pokemon games including Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, Pokemon Quest, Pokemon Go, and of course the brand new Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games. Now obviously on slow news days I will not be able to go over news because there won't be any, but on those days I will go over my opinions on heavily talked about Pokemon discussions I see going on on Twitter or on Instagram. Anything that I kind of want to throw my two cents in and I do want to hear from you guys as well. So in the comment section of this video, leave me topics that you would like to see talked about on this new show in the future on Slow News Days so we can have something to deep dive in in a discussion based show. I do want to keep that feedback with you guys and have this as an open platform for me so I can talk to you guys about Pokemon news and do it daily like every day i'm gonna try to bang on one of these videos for you guys so let's jump into the news first news story today the pokemon let's go pikachu and pokemon let's go eevee games will be playable on the e3 show floor for attendees so basically if you do not know in los angeles every year there's a huge video game show called e3 during that show nintendo sony microsoft come together and show their big guns show their biggest games of the year that they're going to be selling during the holiday season get people hyped up let video game press play with the games and get their hands on with the games to kind of again build hype around these games so pokemon kind of has a weird history with e3 it's always usually there in some kind of form or some kind of capacity usually what we will see with nintendo at e3 with pokemon anyway we will see them at the treehouse showing live gameplay and i do think Think that's something that we're gonna see here I'm gonna talk about that a little later but to me this is very important that they're actually gonna have a live demo playable for attendees for people who are walking in with tickets for press who are walking around and looking for games to play to cover they're gonna be able to get their hands on with let's go Pikachu let's go Eevee which again means we're gonna get a ton of brand new information from tons of people tons of opinions from playing the game and I am very excited to see what people's initial reactions, thoughts, and impressions on Pokemon Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu. You know, again, these games are taking a huge step departure to the right in integrating a lot of Pokemon Go stuff. A lot of people feel worried. A lot of people are not so worried and think that it's okay. A lot of people are skipping the game entirely and just waiting to the, the true Pokemon RPG game, which is coming next year. But again, I'm going to kind of wait and play the game for myself to leave my impression on it and kind of get my review but i am interested in hearing other people's thoughts and opinions on actually playing this demo build at e3 i'm excited i can't wait and this also brings up the question there's a demo of this game there's a demo of pokemon let's go pikachu let's go eevee will that demo ever be released to the public a lot of people are speculating it shout out to nitto king i'm gonna have his twitter up right here who kind of said that if they would it will be some kind of a October release to coincide with the releases of the game, you know, kind of a month in advance so we can get our hands on it before the game actually comes out. I think that's a good idea and that's kind of a safe bet to place a demo release for the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee games. If we do get a demo, again, this is not confirmed that it's coming outside of E3. I'm going to have um, Sarah B's news article where it says, at present is not known if the playable demo build will be playable at any other event but they're going to keep keep us posted if more information comes out of it but as of right now this demo is not leaving e3 so fingers crossed that they do uh, release this demo and shadow drop it and just hey during e3 hey you could download the let's go pikachu and let's go eevee demo let's play it right now i think that'd be amazing so the second news story of today kind of falls in line with pokemon let's go pikachu let's go eevee and what we're going to see at e3 because today Nintendo announced that they're going to do a Nintendo Direct for E3. 
not a huge surprise. We knew that a Nintendo Direct or some kind of video presentation was going to be shown at E3. Today, Nintendo confirmed, yeah, we're doing a Nintendo Direct for E3. Now, Nintendo has stated it was going to be a video presentation on the 12th, that which falls on a Tuesday. And like last year, the video presentation will solely focus on Nintendo Switch titles for 2018. And again, the reason why I'm bringing this up, because Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee even though they had a long press conference for which basically they talked a bunch about the let's go games and pokemon quest and the pokemon 2019 titles i'm not a betting man but i would bet that we will see some kind of a gameplay brand new trailer even though if the trailer will be just a little bit of just gameplay i do think we're gonna see some kind of representation from these two games during this video presentation because because again, Nintendo is trying to sell units. What's gonna sell more than Pokemon this year? Probably Smash, but again, Pokemon is going to, to me, I don't see this video presentation going over and not mentioning Pokemon at all. I do think they will mention a Pokeball accessory somehow, maybe give us a price on that. We already got the dates for Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee. Again, maybe they will announce what that new Pokemon is gonna be or something, something along the lines of that. Who knows? I do think it's smart to include a Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee information in that video presentation. But let me know what you think in the comments. So moving away from E3 and from the Let's Go games, we get Pokemon news today about the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games because the global mission, the eighth, the last one, has currently has begun. So the global mission theme is to play in the Festival Plaza by spending coins. The goal is to reach 5 million coins spent by June 18th. If the mission is successful, the participating players will get 2,000 festival coins or 4,000 festival coins if they have a global link account. And if we do not meet the goal, everyone will get 1,000 festival coins or 2,000 festival coins if they have a global link account tied to the game. Again, I'm still chipping my way through Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon's post game. I put down Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon for a while. I've, I got to kind of, I got re addicted to Zelda for a while. So I've been just deep diving into that. And I was pulled away by other games and other responsibilities. But I'm diving back into Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and trying to at least get up to Re Team Rainbow Rocket because I still haven't done the post game stuff. So that's what I'm doing now. But these global missions, to be honest, I'm not too interested in, the, you know, doing it and participating in them when they were first announced and we were going through that first wave of global missions during the Pokemon Sun and Moon days, they were fun because they were brand new global missions. I feel like they've been recycling the global missions for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, kind of making me feel like what's the point in even participating, especially if we're just going to get Festival Plaza coins, which who the fuck cares about the fucking Festival Plaza? To be honest, it's just another way to grind and to get better items in the game. Besides Golden Bottle Caps and Silver Bottle Caps, there's no particular item that you would want to grind through the festival plaza so again i see it as kind of waste but let me know how you feel about it in the comment section below also in the news pokemon go got two special outfits that has been released we got two t-shirts both costing 250 coins each one of them featuring the mythical pokemon mew and you can only i believe you can only buy this mew shirt if you have captured mew as well as the two Eon Pokemon Latios and Latias. We got a shirt with them uh, kind of battling, which looks sick. It looks kind of, uh, to me, it's better than the, the Mew shirt. The Latios Latias is black with the red and the blue. I think it's pretty cool. Again, these both are available right now in the end game shop. If you're interested, go ahead and pick yourself up. They're all 250 coins each. I uh, kind of wish they were free, but again, we can't get free everything. So, uh, all right, all right. So that's going to be it for the Pokemon News Daily for today of June 6, 2018. Again, leave your thoughts and suggestions for the show and how I can make improvements in the comment section below. Also, leave any future discussions that you want me to have on this new show on slow news days where there isn't one. Again, I'm kind of shooting to do one of these news updates every day for you guys because I'm hyped for the 
the Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee games. And I think it would be pretty cool to have this Pokemon news discussion daily. And that's exactly what I'm trying to do with this show. I think that's kind of a cooler name, Pokemon news discussion. I don't know. Let me know names for this show. I'm just calling it Pokemon news daily for now. My wife said, what was it, Poke Catch? Um or Pokemon catch news or something like that. I'm getting a lot of suggestions for this new show that I'm kind of building. And let me know your thoughts and suggestions on it. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. You guys can bring the conversation there. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of these Pokemon news update videos. The best way to catch them all is with a subscription. So please hit that subscribe button. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as growing a channel is concerned. Ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time I drop a video. Peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.